This morning, we're remembering a football icon, actor and champion for civil rights. Hall of Fame running back Jim Brown has died at the age of 87. Brown was considered an unstoppable force for the Cleveland Browns and one of the greatest players in football history. Here to pay tribute to the iconic athlete, actor, and activist is Fox & Friends co-host and the host of One Nation, our friend Brian Kilmeade. Brian, you're the right guy on this. I mean, Jim Brown, you know, we remember him as a player from, from watching the tape, but he did so much more. Yeah, I mean, in 1990, I started hosting a, a sports show with him on All Sports Radio, uh, XTRA, out in California, and knew all about him because my dad had a bar on Flandome Road in Manhasset, and he grew up on the second floor of a house that he rented. His mom was a housekeeper in Manhasset, and he became a, uh, a sports legend. And the people of the town pitched together without telling him and got, got the Syracuse coach interested in him, paid for his first year of tuition, and then he earned a scholarship the rest of the way. But if you talk to Jim Brown, you wouldn't be talking about nine years uh, in the NFL. He wouldn't be talking about his records at Syracuse and lacrosse as well as uh, football, obviously, that they consider him the best uh, lacrosse player ever. He'd be talking about the American program. He literally, Pete, went into prisons and taught life skills. He'd go into the worst of the worst, infiltrate gangs, bring them up to his beautiful house overlooking, uh, overlooking Hollywood in California, and he would broker peace deals with gang members. And that's what he wanted his legacy to be. Brian, we've got a clip of Jim Brown talking about the flag uh, and what it means to him in an interview with you. Let's uh, show our viewers. Shannon Sharp, a Hall of Fame tight end, said this on Fox, says if what Jim Brown's saying is true, if what Colin Kaepernick is doing in 2017 is wrong, then what Jim Brown did in 1967 was wrong when he led a protest to support Muhammad Ali for being a conscientious objective to the war. What do you say? We should never denigrate our flag and our national anthem. We should always be Americans first and we should work our butts off to do the right thing and make it a better country. But to not respect your flag and your national anthem is something that I would never do. Brian, I didn't, I didn't realize your, your, your lifelong connection to him. It's, it's pretty cool to be close to someone that significant. It was unbelievable. We just hit it off and, and uh, I, I can't explain it, but the thing about Jim Brown is that he would, if he was here right now, Pete, he'd talk to you. You wouldn't be able to get a question in. He'd <laughs> want to know your background, what your story is. Because he think, you know, he was not impressed with himself. He just wanted to make a difference. And this is a guy who went south in Syracuse to go play football and when told the black players, you cannot stay with the rest of your teammates. you got to stay in a different hotel. And his coach pulled them all out of the white hotel, and they all stayed together in the other hotel. Mm. And this is this guy had every reason to see two Americans, but only saw one. And he just made a huge difference. And he had a chance to do it again when he married uh, Monique and then had two kids, both in college now, one at USC and I believe one at Hampton. I'm not positive, but historical black college, both great athletes, great people. And he said, Brian, I'm into scholars, not athletes. And I also think that uh, what Jim Brown did is he loved Trump. And I said, why do you like Trump? And yet you're playing such a role in his administration and not the other. He said, I couldn't get Barack Obama to call me back. I'm talking about criminal justice reform. What has to happen in prisons? Mm -hmm. The Obama administration would not get back to him. And Trump did. He said, come to my office. And he did. And the criminal justice reform had a lot to do with the curriculum that Jim Brown put together. Uh, in working with these prison, uh, in prisons for 20, 25 years, they would actually have graduation days in lockdown and teach people life skills so when they got out, they'd be members of society. Bob, talk about someone trying to actually deal with root causes and then recognizing America is the kind of place yeah. where we can move past our sins and always respect the gift we've been given. Uh, well done. Brian, uh, you got a great show coming up tonight. What do you got on One Nation?